Hey, would you like a little more control over when your emails get sent? Maybe you want to compose them uh, Sunday night or something like that, but you want to send them Monday morning. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that for both Mac and PC, and that video is going to start right now. Hey, my name is Sean Seymour. I do videos of tech and photography, and I'm back in my office here. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about how you can delay send your emails. And if you want to, you can jump ahead to the chapter that I've marked for the, you know, for the meats and potatoes of how to do this. But I've got two tips for people that are working in the corporate environment that may help. One tip is, if you're somebody who just started a corporate job and you're trying to have that perception that you're working a lot, whether you are or not, it always helps to have people believe that you're up at six o'clock in the morning and you're not leaving work or closing the laptop till seven o'clock at night. Well, this technique that I'm gonna show you about delaying emails can help do that. Maybe you work on the emails the night before and then you schedule them to go out at 6 a.m. If you've got a perception to maintain at work, this can help. Second thing for corporate people. I noticed that a lot of the C-suite type individuals who are your C-class executives like your CEO, CFO, COOs, and any senior level management, typically because it's quieter on a Sunday, they like to work Sunday afternoons and Sunday evenings. Maybe some of them don't want to be contacted or called though if they start sending out emails on Sunday evening. Maybe they don't even want people knowing that they're working Sunday evening. So what is a great way to avoid that? Well, to to avoid that, you can schedule your emails to go out Monday morning or whenever you want them to go. The third thing is, this is really valuable for people who are doing marketing. If you want to put together marketing campaigns, but you don't necessarily want to use an outside third-party service, you want everything coming from your email address, and you only have a few people that you need to reach out to, but you don't want to hit them with a bunch of stuff right away, you can schedule your emails and stagger them throughout the week or stagger them throughout the month, however you want to do it by using this method. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and jump right in into this, we're gonna get into the computer and I'm gonna show you how you can send your emails at a later date after you've composed them. Here we go. First thing I'm gonna cover here is going to be Outlook for PC. And forgive me, but this Outlook version is a little bit older, but the fundamentals are still the same. Once you create a new email, in other words, you're gonna compose a new email. So let me go ahead and drop in an email address. And I always tell myself I'm the bomb, that's great. Okay, in order to send this later, what you're gonna do is you're going to go up to the top ribbon, and instead of clicking on send, you're gonna go up and click on options. Once you click on options, you'll see something on the right-hand side that says delayed delivery. Go ahead and click on that. Now you'll get a window that has all kinds of things that you can do with this email. But if you notice down at the bottom where it says delivery options, we can now say do not deliver before and go ahead and select a time and a date that we want this to be delivered. Let's say that I wanna change this to July 19th, Monday morning, and I don't want it to be 5 p.m., but I wanna look good Monday morning by sending it at an early, oh, let's go even earlier, oh no, ah, eight o'clock. No, 6.30, I get up at 6.30, that's when I start work. But nobody really needs to know that, or if they do know that, it's because I'm creating that perception. Now you can go ahead and hit send, and it will send that email on the 19th, Monday morning at 6.30 a.m. Okay, let's jump over to how you can do this uh, for Office for Mac and or Outlook for Mac. Now, if I open up a email, just click on new email, and you'll get this window right here that says uh, new email, and I need to send this to somebody, so let's send this to uh, one, four, or three, four, five, six, at uh, gmail.com, or I'm sorry, three, four, five, one, at gmail.com, doesn't really matter, this is just an example. Okay, one thing that I came across when I tried to do this out of Gmail is that using Outlook and Gmail together, there doesn't seem to be an option for this. If I click on options, you notice there's no option for a delayed send. And under messages right here where it says send, it would normally have a drop down there that says 
send later. So why don't I try to go ahead and change how I'm sending this. This is my own server and now all of a sudden you'll notice that I've got a drop down here that allows me to send it later which is really cool because they make this super simple. All I have to do is click on the time. I want to send it on Monday morning and I want to send it at say 6 28 a.m. which would be fine and then once I click send it's going to go ahead and send that. Click on send and your email's gone and that's it. You've just sent it at a later date. That's all I have for you on this video. I hope that you found this video helpful. Please hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. The like button helps YouTube know that this is a good video that they should be showing someone else and you can subscribe if you want to see more content like this. If you want to hit the bell notification it'll send you a notification when I have a new video that comes out. Until I see you in the next video, I hope that you appreciate me taking you down to the harbor and trying to make this light and airy outdoors and keep it simple my friend.